I think I might have uh, cracked the case, you guys. Huh? All right. Uh, why I've been having these uh, dreams about uh, getting fired. Okay. Why? Well, it's this time of the year, every year, that I start going through all the little, th I mean, every little detail that they call a fine tooth comb. I go through the entire show. You're auditing the show. I'm auditing the show. And I go through and I try to figure out, like, before we get into, because we get into a, a, a period here where it's an unrated period. Mm -hmm. So the ratings count for nothing because all these stations go Christmas. And, yep. uh, and so the ratings for the rest of us don't count. You know, so nobody's bonused on it. Nobody's uh, selling those uh, numbers or anything. So you don't have to really worry about mm -hmm. any of that stuff, which is which is nice. And I still concern myself. But I take that time every year to evaluate everything that we've been doing. Uh, think about the things that we've talked about doing and what we're going to do like when the new year starts. Fresh start, new year. Keep things interesting. Like I don't. I don't like the idea of complacency. I've seen that happen so many times. I, I'm so fearful of that. I'm fearful of failure. I'm fearful of so many things that, um, you know, when it, like professionally or like with the show, like even though we've been around for a long time as a show, yep. like I'm always asking and trying to find, asking myself and trying to find ways to keep things good. Mm hmm. You know, and and that look, I know that's uh, depending on who you ask. Some people say the whole thing sucks, <laughs> and, and, I, and I'm not talking about like everybody's gonna love it or whatever. But just you know, keep keep things fresh, keep things in, which is why we cycle things in and out and mm -hmm. the whole thing. So maybe that's what it is. Maybe, maybe. I mean, I've been looking at everything, going it's... through. I, I I must have gone through the last three big research projects that the company did for us, mm -hmm. going through the entire like. Um, PowerPoint presentation. All the responses. I asked for a recap on some of that stuff. I, you know, start going around to other people that I uh, respect their opinion, and I ask to get their take on a couple things. And so maybe that's got to be it, right? Yeah, makes yeah. sense. Mm -hmm. Definitely plays into it. Even though I wasn't it, doing that like right before bed. But I mean, it's been occupying your mind. It always occupies my mind. This is all I have. <laughs> <laughs> you, you know what I mean? No other hobbies. I mean, this show is uh, all I've got. You have kids. Yeah. yeah. No, I'm, yes. I know, but you, you know, know, you know what, what I'm love saying. Is. Yeah. Yeah. I, know, I, know, I know what love is. So here's, uh, here's a question for you guys. As we, you know, get into this time and I'm thinking about stuff, I, I, I usually have this conversation with everybody uh, here on the show, and I'll put it out to the audience as well. Um, for those of you who listen to the show on a regular basis, uh, even if you're just kind of like a casual person in and out every once in a while, uh, the people who are just hate listening, uh, save your breath. <laughs> You know what I mean? Like, because we're not going to cater to those kind of people anyway. We never have. Get rid of Ravy. She sucks. Nobody mm -hmm. said that. I'm what? sure somebody no, has. No, they will. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm sure somebody has. I mean, there are people, look, there are people that hate me and, you know, the host of the show. Every, there, there's, there's those people for everybody. There's too many people. Mm -hmm. That's also probably something somebody will say. Mm -hmm. Probably. Like the show killer says it all the time. Every time that Sammy or Morgan or a female on the show says something, they should say their name beforehand. <laughs> Oh, yeah? <laughs> because they all sound the same. I'm I like, mean, what are you uh, talking about? Wow. Okay. Yeah. Anyway. What do you think um, of that idea, Sammy? <laughs> I, uh, no, 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 no. Hold no, on. You oh, oh, what do you think of that, Sammy? I. No. No. Oh, you identify Hi, yourself. Hi, I'm Sammy. Right. <laughs> and my thought there you is. Go. Yes. And my thought is. Now you got it. <laughs> what a that, great idea. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, why is it only difficult to tell the female voices and none of the male voices? Well, Mike, oh, the, show Mike the show killer is. Yeah, okay. he's, he's right. tuned into dudes. Yeah. Yeah. And if, <laughs> if you were 19 year old, uh -huh. years old, oh, yeah. or maybe even younger, and a male, yeah. you could talk all day. Yeah, right. he'd be he, would know exactly. he wants more of that. He would know exactly who you are. <laughs> yeah, right. Where's the young dudes on the show? Yeah. <laughs> all right, so a question uh, for the audience and for people in this room. I mean, uh, really, like, what, what do you want from us? Like, um, you know... To keep things interesting and fresh, like what are the what are the things that I, I I was talking to Ravi about this the other day too. Mm -hmm. I said, what are some shows, not uh, TV shows, but audio, right. audio shows or podcast, whatever that you listen to, uh, and they come back to me and tell me like what it is about those, what the shows are, and then what about those shows, you know, draws you in. Like what is it about that show that you like so much? And she gave me a couple examples, but I'm, I'm saying I'm asking you as the listener, like when it comes to this show. What is it that uh, you really kind of like drew you in or got you to be as, you know, uh, into the show or loyal to the show as you've become? I'm always interested in that kind of stuff because we could sit here and, you know, we, we talk about the news of the day. We, mm -hmm. you know, talk about and even within that, there's a conversation about like, well, what kind of stuff do we acknowledge or don't acknowledge? And, you know, we try to keep a lot of the politics stuff off the air. We try to keep a lot of the I mean, unless it's like the big, huge headline, a lot of the really heavy 
right. over the top stuff. Even if we mention that, we try to like you know curb some of the details uh, out of that. Um, but like, so what? What is it that you want? What do you want more or less of? Is there something that we used to do that you you know really missed that you want us to bring back, or something that we're doing now that you hate and drives you crazy? I'm just looking for your general feedback, I guess. Mm-hmm. So this is what you dreamt about. It's got to be. <laughs> now that I'm saying, be. I'm like, well, of course that's what it is. Right. <laughs> of course that's what it is. Well, I've got one. Yeah. Okay. And it involves menace, and it involves everybody. Oh, okay. okay. You know how we do, like, we've done the Tuesday Takeover periodically. We should do that, but with guests. So, for instance, menace. You, for yes. years, have wanted to have on the show comedian Bobby <laughs> Lee. <laughs> oh, I <geez>. have. <laughs> and I say, I just have. give him one chance. Just give him a chance. He's a great guest. He has a bazillion stories. He, uh, yeah, he does. He's, give a guy a chance. I guarantee it's his It's Woody's pop- give a guy a chance. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. That's, exactly. This is like what we do with Morgan and her uh-huh. dates. Uh-huh. Now, Ravy, I'm sure you've got somebody. Greg, I know you've got somebody. I'm sure Sammy's got somebody. I, of course, have a thousand people. Mm-hmm. Yeah, see, the guest thing is that's another one of those things where, you know, we have become really the, kind of not the anti-guest show. Yeah. Um, but, like, whenever we do have it, to the point where people don't have that expectation of the show. Right. And so whenever we have one on, people get pissed. Uh, because I, I'll be honest, uh, you know, I see the sheets, and I think that all of us collectively need to be better at researching the guests and coming up with better questions. Because it's just like the the sheets that I see that we have in front of us is just like surface level. Well, stuff. that's the base. Yeah, that's the it's basic just, stuff. So that's basic the, stuff. Yeah. Then, so we need to make a more of an effort to come up with more entertaining questions. Right, and it only takes one or two a piece, obviously. Yeah. If we get Bobby Lee in here, I like that. <laughs> I like that. Uh, yeah. Right. <laughs> I like Bobby Lee. Yeah. So yeah. that that kind J.K. of stuff. J.K. Rowling. <laughs> oh, right. <laughs> She's, is, yeah, is that she, J.K. Rowling? But I, I agree with unattractive you. Unattractive cousin? If we're well, just going to have like surface level stuff, then we shouldn't have any guests in here. Because there's so many you know, shows. I'm, I won't name names, but there's so many shows that they just fill their airtime with guests. So they'll take what, like, whatever guest comes down right, the I pipe, predicted you know? that objection. So no, you don't do it all day, every day. No, no. no I, I month, understand. Maybe. That's that's one of the reasons. And mm-hmm. you know, um, when we first started, one of the main shows that we were up against was somebody who did that. They did it a mm-hmm. lot, and they're dead now. And yeah. Uh, well, yeah, they're, they're not on anymore. But like that was that was a point of differentiation, and so we really kind of adopted a rule that it's got to be somebody like they have something like a if there's a show or a project they're that they're in that we're really into, then that's different. You have some, like, some kind of passion behind it, right? You know, um, or if it's somebody who we're already friends with, but how do you, you become know? friends with them if you don't have them on? Yeah. You don't that's true. About that's how have, we like, became friends with friends. Bert right. and friends with Joe. And that, and that mm-hmm. has happened. And yeah. The, yeah. And that and that has happened. But, but yeah. that's their point. Bobby Lee could be our new best friend. You don't know because yeah. you're poo pooing. Right. Pre-poo- like... You're pre pooing. Okay. Well, <laughs> as Menace says with the uh, sheets, maybe you need to show me some better examples because everything he brings up, like, no, check it out. <laughs> okay. It's like, uh. Look, I think All everybody right. on this side of the counter is pro Bobby Lee. Yeah. yeah. This isn't. <laughs> I mean, I'm... I would like to let's bring some more examples to the table. But like... I've never seen him do a thing, but I'm willing. <laughs> All right. I wouldn't recognize him on the street. Andrew Dice Clay. Yes. Well, you Absolutely. guys tried to manufacture that. You tried to ambush me with him. For folks who don't know. And it didn't work out. Why? Ravy Luck. Right. You, so, you had nefarious plans. We had a mystery guest schedule. That scheduled. blew up in your yeah. face. And because of, yeah, travel right. complications. Yeah. That blew up. Why? It didn't blow up in our face. It, it still, did. It just yeah, didn't right. happen. Oh, right. it definitely blew up in your face because <laughs> yeah. you had no. Because Woody thought if Andrew Dice Clay came in here, I would tell him to his face how right. unfunny I think he is. <laughs> yeah. Which and you said what? you thought I would say yeah. that. No, we had a, we had a, actually uh-huh. Woody had a good idea for Andrew Dice Clay that would did not just let's make let's have Ravy be uncomfortable. True. Right, right, which right. is yeah. a good yeah. idea. Which is just, a good idea. That was such a small little piece. Yeah, of that, it. that was just a, right. that was a that oh, was, it was whole, an ambush. No, it wasn't. It was, just, <laughs> it was a planned it, ambush. It was to get your reaction, it was like a when Dice yeah. walks in, mm-hmm. just okay. to get Ravy's reaction. Uh, it probably would have been very disappointing. I know a little bit more about their plans, and they are telling the truth. Yeah, yeah, that was just a part of it. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Thank but you. Okay. Anyway. It wouldn't have gone well. What if that was? <laughs> what if that was anybody else of us who have a vocal disliking of somebody, and we had James Corden walk in? What would you do, Seabass? Would you be diplomatic? I or? would be. Di- I mean, I would try to take shots at him, but I would do it in a in a nice way. Exactly. I would, I would shut way, down. Yeah. Exactly, because I don't <laughs> yeah. see any of us just doing that to somebody. And I don't know anything about mm-hmm. like Bobby Lee as a person. Yeah, you know, I'm sure he's a great guy. He's got you know mutual friends, people that we like and know. 
mm-hmm. you know, yeah. whether it's Bert or Joe, Coy, like That's, those are the only two. And but I'm saying, but like they, <laughs> people that we know, part of the vouch, you know, like uh-huh. obviously right. they have, you know, they have a relationship and they do things uh, together on each other's podcasts or whatever. You know, so by association, I'm you know, but I'm just saying the stuff that. But not just Bobby Lee. There's like a bunch of people. I mean, when I, the, when I first stepped in this door eight something years ago, I knew Bert from beforehand from other shows I'd done, right. and you guys had no idea Bert who, whatever. So right. I mean, it took a while. Yeah. Love Bert. Keep working on it now. Chip away. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So if you have uh, be, beyond beyond guests, because mm-hmm. um, we've already discussed that, but like, um, what are some other things like more or less of whatever? Give us your feedback there uh, on the calls eight seven seven forty four Woody on the text over to two two nine eight seven Only fans. Only <laughs> yes, only fans. <laughs> you have it. <laughs> But like fun stuff, like like literally, like legitimately rabies feet. I know we're, we make mm-hmm. jokes. Sure, yeah. sure. Oh, just do it. Stop talking about it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. I'm seeing a lot of just on the text, like it's um, you know, a lot about tone, you mm-hmm. know, unapologetic and just being authentic and you know, giving real opinions, um, like that kind of stuff. They like the uh, camaraderie. They like right, but a lot of you guys bicker too much. Oh well, which yeah. I definitely get. <laughs> <laughs> like we're not like silly like we used to be. Like anytime we start to get silly, oh, it gets cut down. off immediately. Gotta, yeah, um, that's that's what I would change. Be a little more silly. ride with it. That's I'm sick. pro silly right yeah. there with yeah. you, Ray. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. To a point, it can't go on endlessly. Yeah. Right, but it doesn't go on. Period. <laughs> more, more it doesn't 15, happen at all. Fifteen seconds. That's like, cut that crap off. Yep. <laughs> She's talking about some murder or something. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I've got a list in front of yeah. me. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, hey, wait, wait. Ravy, but what, I want to know what are the top 15 ways people make chicken. <laughs> <laughs> Stop uh, with this silliness. Say, I've got nope. a chicken list. <laughs> End it. <laughs> A chicken list. <laughs> See, that's silly and yeah. fun. <laughs> I'm letting it go on. Oh, that's yeah. very good. Yeah. Thanks, <laughs> bud. <laughs> it's, a, it's a pre-birthday present. Say <laughs> <laughs> so he never got you nothing. <laughs> Somebody just tap me and wake me up when it's over. Oh, oh okay. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Dad poop poop. Right. Well, what, what, what do we got? Any make, mo- a, make a Woody reaction. What do we scale? got? Yeah. What, what's the list? Any molestation stories? <laughs> <laughs> Some baby gets shot in an alley. I don't think that's a good thing. No. No. I'm willing to say it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, oh we hadn't God. heard from. Yeah, I was wondering about the other day. Like, uh, whatever happened to Tank? We had this guy. Yeah. Where, where yeah. is he? Yeah. He's a driver. Braille Dale. Oh, Bar- yeah. Barbara the Crier. That's old school stuff, oh, man. That's God, way she's old OG. school. Yeah. yeah, Barbara the Crier. <laughs> Come on, Barbara, call us back. Yeah, Barbara, what are you sad about? about? Pretty, pretty, pretty good. I got to talk. I gotta tell what I. Feel. That was some of the feedback right there. Pretty, pretty, pretty good. We're asking people like, uh, you know, what do you want from us? More or less of as we uh, get in this time where we're kind of reevaluating, looking at different things, trying to uh, regroup for the new year when it uh, when it gets here. Like somebody said, uh, you guys are doing great. In my opinion, you guys don't need to change anything. The show is fun and entertaining the way it is. We're not talking about like changing necessarily. It's just about uh, tweaking, some tweaks, evolution, and yeah. you know, keeping things uh, fresh and interesting. Uh, I love listening to you guys in the morning because you're honest and vulnerable about who each of you are as humans. Other shows are about interviewing famous people, and the interviews are like a one persona fakeish person interviewing another persona fakeish person for the purpose of curating some type of image. For listeners, you guys are real, and I love your dynamic. That's nice. That was well said. Uh, I like it when it's open to callers, and when you talk more about what's going on in your lives. See, that's the callers thing is a hit or miss thing. Mostly. So hit or miss, mostly. Yeah. yeah. You know why? Because people are just terrible storytellers for yeah. the most part. Uh, I love any of the prank bits, like interview roulette or yes. the first trick or treater, or the skits with Sea Bass when he tries to return some used items. Or gets the free tacos. Mm. Uh, I usually fast forward through the parts of the show when you have guests on, like Joe or Bert. Oh, Bert. Uh, I'm not a fan of the guests. I also don't really like nerding out. I wish that was maybe just once a week. Mm-hmm. Uh, started listening a few months ago. I was hooked in with the first bit where you read angry emails to the show. Yeah, oh, the uh, the crossroads. Yep. That's, mm-hmm. Yeah, that's a, that that's a fan, that's a fan favorite. That has not uh, gone more away. Sammy, thank you. More Menace, uh, a word of the day. Porno birthdays and fat girl, skinny girl. I love those. 
69 The News has been the funniest new bit you guys have done. Mm. Uh, I listen, I keep listening because you guys make me laugh. Anyone can do a talk show. The connection and even the disagreements is real and a fun escape from the crap that the world keeps pushing on social media and in the news. Uh, bring back the Bort Report. Let him uh, sit you guys down and tell you what to work on. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Oh, here we go. Uh, I love you guys. Keep it real. Uh, doesn't seem like you have a radio persona versus your home persona. Uh, you're just you, and I love it. It's nice when you guys expose your insecurities to open a serious conversation that uh, many of your listeners experience as well. See, that's relatable stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, as far as the segments, normal by the numbers, redneck news, cart narcs, and uh, I also enjoy Greg's fanciful segments. Yes. <laughs> I like the word fanciful. Uh, fanciful. fanciful. Oh. <laughs> yeah, so you can keep the feedback going. Again, um, I'm just interested in you know the people who listen on a regular basis or even the more casual people. Like, what was it that made you... Um, you know, give us more time and, you know, I don't want to say fall in love, but like, you know, become all in with the show. Yeah. You realize like, hey, you know what? This is the show for me. I will say fall in love. Fall in love. Oh, yeah. yeah. What made you fall in love? <laughs> Was it love at first listen? <laughs> uh, what do you want to hear more or less of? Let us know. 877-44-WOODY. Any time of the after hours voicemail. If you think of something later or you want to send us an email about it, email at thewoodyshow.com. Uh, you can do that on social media as well. Any of the social media platforms at The Woody Show.